Monday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, joined by our executive weather producer, Terry Ellison, for our Monday morning weather chat. Yeah. Still on Good morning. Good morning. Happy Good morning. Monday. Good morning to you as well. Uh, what a weekend. I mean, we... <laughs> What a weekend, and it's sure, Mondays sure are a lot easier when it's like going to be 80 degrees. <laughs> Although, I'm kind of today, I'm kind of like, hmm, 80 degrees and we're, we're in this like windowless building, but you know. You know, you, you look a little sick. You might <laughs> I, have to I go home like, early. Yes, I thought, I thought <laughs> I felt a little peakish. Um, but no, man, what a, what a weekend. I just say, we were just talking, we got out to hike uh, Mount Watatic up in Worcester County. Yeah. Uh, just a perfect weekend for really anything, you know, whether it's the kids' soccer game. Yep. Um, apple picking, I think, is a little bit past past prime right now, but yep. still, you can go to an orchard and still purchase the apples. Absolutely, yeah. So I actually got a chance to visit um, in Tingsboro, uh, Parley Farms. Oh, you don't. I, I did yeah. last week, and they said that this past weekend was their last weekend, right. that yeah. it's basically at harvest, and everything that you're going to be able to buy is now in their um, little farm store there. Check out where we're going to end up today. I mean... Welcome to September yeah. and October. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Boston, I'd give Boston about a 50-50 shot at nicking 80 degrees today. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's just obviously whether it were 79 or 80 doesn't really matter. Just more for the record books, I guess. Um, but just about everywhere away from the south coast, you know, well into the 70s, if not uh, near or slightly over 80. Um, and this is pretty pretty nice because you're, fi you're 15 or 20 degrees above the average, depending on where you are. And so when it comes to some of this late season warmth, it's not uncommon for us to get some of these 70s and 80s this far into the season. In fact, last year, mm -hmm. our last 80 of the season was back in October. A week uh, from 20th. today. Yeah, yeah so exactly. That's, that's pretty late. Obviously, the average being September 30th. So we're already well past the average. But last year, we really uh, almost a month, month past the average. So all things considered, these are the type of days that we need to really enjoy. Uh, just in order to... You know to, what's right around the corner. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Uh, it, but, I, so the record, I, it, there's probably like a 10% chance that Boston gets up to 82 today. Very unlikely. Um, I'm one of those guys that says, you know what, if we're going to be 80 or 79, we might as well, ju let's just hit just the record. tie why, the record, why why break the record, yeah. Um, probably won't happen, but nonetheless, a couple of degrees shy of a warm temperature record, which we haven't had. It's been a while since we hit a record here. Yeah, it has uh, been a while. I have to do a little research to think of when the last one was, but... Um, just uh, the continue of, what, of what's been an amazing September and October. Yeah. My wife was like, this has to be the nicest fall like in our lifetimes. And I'm like, well, I don't know about that, but it sure feels uh, pretty darn nice. And a large portion of that is how dry we've been, mm -hmm. uh, where we kind of flipped the script compared to last year. Um, and because we've been so dry. Here comes the wah, wah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we do have... Uh, what we call a special weather statement, it's no red flag warnings or anything like that, but basically the National Weather Service wants to raise concern that if there were to be a little bit of a brush fire, there could be some concern that it spreads a little bit. With the breeze, with as dry as we have been, um, it's something we have to watch out for. Yeah, not only uh, not only is the ground itself dry, obviously if you've walked around the woods or you wanted to hike this weekend or whatever, like the ground is just dry. It hasn't rained much. Yeah. And then the air, the, low, the humidity is also very low today, 20, 30 percent. Um, so that just goes to show, it goes to say, and that happens any time in the spring or fall if you've got a dry stretch, um, you know, you get a brush fire concern. So yep. just something to keep in the back of our minds today. Um, it has been, so Worcester is the third, this has been the third driest fall to date in wow. Worcester. Um, and this goes back, you know, well over 100 years. And so this is basically meteorological fall. So we're talking, this goes from September 1st through today, more than halfway through meteorological fall. And they're sitting third on this list and not too far away from the number one spot. Yeah, yeah. That just speaks to how dry it has been. Um, and, and they also had a fairly dry summer, as I recall. At least mm -hmm. the, the second half of the summer was uh, pretty dry for Worcester. Check out our latest drought monitor. Now, this was updated last Thursday. The, the thing about the drought monitor is the data closes on a Tuesday. So it closes on Tuesday. The map gets updated on a Thursday. So it's been a while since we've had any sort of refreshing of this data, uh, but with no rain. Right. <laughs> it has a rain. So we expect those drought conditions that are currently Cape Ann, the Merrimack Valley, the sea coast as you go up towards closer to the Monadnock region, uh, in, even into the Berkshires. We expect those drought conditions to expand. Yeah, so that, that sort of beige area there, the moderate drought, will probably expand quite a bit uh, when, we, when this comes out on Thursday. Yeah. Um, to me, this is more, it would be more worrisome if it were happening before summer. You go yeah. into the summer season yeah. with a drought. 
happening in fall, I, I think we all know, everybody that's watching this knows that we'll, we'll get ours. It yeah. will, it, whether, you know, nothing in the forecast for the next 10 days or so, but as we head into the winter months, we're going to see plenty of rain, snow, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. So this is not like a, you know. It's not the start of the growing season. Exactly. Where we need the rain. Right. Yes. Right. Absolutely. So kind of a minor concern, but still nonetheless, um, for those that are still trying to, you know, the, the grass is not, I don't know about yours, but mine is actually still very brown. Oh. And that's okay because, again, winter's on the way, right? Yes, exactly. Um, and, but this is needless to say, there really is no appreciable rainfall in the forecast. This, this particular forecast goes through Halloween, so it's yeah. 10 days out. And you can see we are somewhere between a, a hundredth and a tenth of an inch of rain uh, total for most of southern New England. So, so you're talking 10 days. Another 10 days with yep. very little, if any, rain. Yes, absolutely. Um, and you know, that's going to, again, those, that drought monitor will certainly expand the moderate drought category. And when we talk about, like, how variable our shoulder months are of spring and fall, you think about a few years ago, we had snow mm -hmm. leading up to Halloween. We had the October snowstorm. Yeah. We've had these incredible winter-like events. But then, on the other hand, leading up today, right. we're going to push 80 degrees. We're going to make a run for, we'll probably fall short of a record, but it's yeah. going to be beautiful. And just last year, um, I, I'll, I'll never forget it, basically almost every month, every sorry, every weekend in fall was raining. Yeah. It was a miserable fall last year. The, 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 I know the orchards were struggling because they just couldn't get people to come out. The weather was miserable. Um, we just had a bad weekend string last year. And yeah. talking the exact opposite of what's going on now, we were talking about um, you know, flooding concerns, and now we're talking about the drought monitor. Yep. So, so variable, and I, you know, is that a factor of climate change? You know, the, the ups, the more of the ups and downs, like perhaps. Just becoming a little bit more extreme. A little more extreme, yeah. yeah. And the, the good times are going to continue to roll for the next few days. Yeah, by the time we get into Tuesday, uh, as you go into sort of the Blackstone River Valley, that's likely going to be one of the warmer spots, Worcester, Brockton area, down into Pawtucket, uh, Rhode Island, but closer to Boston, you're still in the middle 70s, 72 in Andover, even upper 60s, low 70s for the South Shore and the southeastern coast. Yeah, a little cooler along the coast with just a very light easterly wind, yeah. um, but I don't think anybody's complaining. So it'll be about maybe five degrees or so off of today's high but uh, still, still sunny too. Still very nice yeah. and here we go again on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, Wednesday's gonna be another incredible day. You'll probably notice the, the breeze a little bit more out of the south heading into Wednesday. Perhaps a couple extra clouds, perhaps, but I still think it's gonna be a, a really fantastic day. Now, an hour before sunrise, so for you early risers this week, look to the south and you're gonna see Mars very bright in the sky. This, again, we've talked about it endlessly. This has been one of those years where we've just had, I think it probably the best year in, in recent times for yep. astronomy events. This is obviously a very minor thing. You know, we're coming off the comet last week, the aurora from uh, maybe a week and a half Ten ago. Ten days ago, yeah. Um, so, but still kind of cool if you're up early. Um, sunrise is happening right around 7 a.m., I want to say right now. Yep, it's um, 7.04. Yeah, so, so this would be, you know, if you're up at 6 a.m., which I think a lot of folks probably are. Yep. Uh, this is going to be, so this graph it kind of makes it look close to the horizon. It's actually pretty high up in the, in the southern sky. Um, but Mars, you can always tell because it has that little reddish twinkle yep. to it. A little bit of a glow. Yeah, and as the days pr progress, the, actually the moon and Mars will get a little closer. So it's just something to check out in the morning. And I think we've, so I went down to a local lake near me last week to see the comet. And it was amazing how many people were out with their like cameras, their telescopes. Like people are really in. I think this year has gotten people sort of into the astronomy yep. bug. You know what I mean? Uh, so when we talk to kids about just being fascinated with the natural world around them, we need sort of these like cornerstone events, mm -hmm. cornerstone events like the like the total solar eclipse or like the comet, where they're just looking up, and it just gives them that little spark yeah. to be able to go outside and say. Hey, what is that? Or, cool. you know, ask the questions. And I love seeing that light bulb moment in kids yeah. when they can relate what they're seeing to something that they're learning about. Um, that That's that's being curious. Yeah. And that's that's really cool to see. And this is just another opportunity. Yeah, and I, Minor would, at I wonder that how many future astronomers are being yeah. born right now just out of all these events and kids going out there, mom or dad or whatever. But um, Absolutely. Uh, more good news now. Not good news if you're if you're in down Cuba. in Cuba or the Dominican, but um, the tropics seem to be slowing down a bit. Yeah. Um, and this is the only storm on the map right now. No, nothing even sort of forecast to happen the next ten days ago or so. This was a hurricane last night. Now tropical storm Oscar. Yeah. So Oscar 
actually, I'll have to check to see what it was when it made landfall, but at a time, it was one of the smallest hurricanes in the satellite era with winds outside of the eye of Oscar, only five miles Is outside right? of the eye. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, so uh, I think the previous record was 11 miles. Mm. Um, so we'll see what it was when it made landfall, but you see that it's not gonna pose any threat to the mainland US. It will go through uh, some of the uh, islands there in the Atlantic before going off into the open Atlantic. Yeah, the only thing to say about this right now is that later in the week, it'll sort of our weather charts on yeah. like the, the very eastern side. And so it will pass, you know, several hundred miles east uh, of New England, but perhaps later this week or next weekend, maybe some swells or something. Right. Um, but thankfully that's, that's it. And there it is on the chart. This is uh, starting Thursday. on Thursday yeah. and you'll see it kind of like passing well east of us, but that may be just enough to, you know, make the waves a little bit bigger at some of our beaches. Yep. So you saw Thursday, that was our chance for rain as we go into Friday, into the weekend, looking pretty nice overall. It will be cooler. There's a chance for showers as you go into uh, Saturday and then high pressure builds back in. This will be a cool day on Sunday. Um, and then once high pressure starts to build back over us, perhaps even again. a little Another bit nice more. Week, yep. Probably right. Um, exactly. Yeah. So that's Saturday. So basically we have two chances of rain in the next say 10 days. There's late Wednesday night into early Thursday. Yep. And that is literally a sprinkle. If that, I think probably a lot of folks in Southern New England will get nothing. Yep. Uh, and then that front, um, coming through on Saturday, I mean, I guess we could use the rain, but I don't necessarily, you don't really want it on ruin Saturday. The, yeah, ruin the weekend. Uh, but I wouldn't, if you've got plans Saturday, um, I wouldn't freak out about that at this point. It, you know, we just seem to be in a pattern where we can't get much rain here. And when we do get a front, it comes through very dry and weak. So I wouldn't yep. be shocked if that was, you know, almost a new Changes. Nothing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, another nice weekend ahead. And then looking ahead, um, a little bit further, you can see there will be a dip in the jet stream coming up here this weekend. So it does get cooler again this weekend. Um, the high is probably um, maybe low 60s on Saturday and into the 50s on Sunday. Yep, and and we do have some 50s, perhaps uh, upper 50s, low 60s heading into Thursday too, right. right? Yeah, so different. definitely later this week, much more typical. I think the average high right now is right around 59 or 60, so yeah. more typical weather. And so if you're heading to the uh, Patriots Jets game um, on Sunday, I think, you know, we were- <laughs> I just, I'm laughing because how bad the Patriots and Jets are right now. I, I, I mean, yeah. I, I love the Pats, long, long time yeah. Pats fan, but just coming off of yesterday, I don't know if you got a chance to see any of the Jets game last night. I sure did, yeah. Um, man, I don't know which, which team I would ra rather be a fan or least rather be a fan of right now. I don't, well, we were saying the same thing about the Jaguars and they look like a good team. True enough, yes. Um, so. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I would, if I had tickets, I'd, it's going to be a great day. Oh, yeah. Uh, you go, you do some tailgating with your friends, and you, you know, maybe Drake May will throw a couple touchdowns. And, and make Honestly, he's like, like, that's been a bright spot. Totally. Like, yes. you know, he has, I think, as many touchdowns as, like, Patrick Mahomes has thrown is in the it? last oh. couple of weeks. So there you go. So, like, so you there is a bright spot. Yeah. You could say he's basically doing better than Patrick Mahomes. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> but. <laughs> all right, so if we are looking forward to uh, this upcoming winter, I, I, people stop me in the supermarket all the time. Look, this week is great. What's up with the yeah, winter, seriously. right? Yeah, Are we going to get a lot of snow? Exactly. Is, is yeah. this going to, or... Uh, I got this question this weekend, like, is this weather, the warm, dry weather, going to continue into the winter? And it's like, well, right. um, it just so happened Noah came out with their forecast last week. Uh, we did talk about it when it happened, but in case you missed it, um, more of the same, really, um, even though it's a much different winter than last. So last year it was a major El Nino. Yep. That was like the story. And this year is the complete opposite. It's La Nina. Um, and those bring very different effects to the United States. But for us in the Northeast, um, the forecast is actually a lot, much the same, likely right. to be above average temperatures and below average snowfall. Right, exactly. And I don't think that that's, you know, unheard of. Like that's basically what we've seen the last five, yeah. when was the last time we had above average winter? It was marginally above average. I want to say it was 2018 or it was like we had 59 or something. It, we, yeah. we, haven't really have, we haven't had like a really tough winter in my opinion since 2015, 2014, right. 15, that major. Um, but the last two winters combined, um, we've had, what was it? Nine 12 point, inches and, nine and then nine. Inches. Yeah. yeah in if you would have asked me, you know, going into last winter, is it going to be better? 
you know, more snowfall right. than the previous, I'd have been like, we're Boston. easily Absolutely. gonna get over a foot of right. snow and we got less snow in yeah. Boston at least. So funny you say that because somebody said to me, like, is it gonna be another one of those winters? And I'm like, I can almost guarantee you we're gonna get more snow this winter than last, just because we get so little and, I mean. Yeah, that, when the bar is that low, it's easy low. to exceed it, but we didn't. We didn't. And so. La Nina's are typically a little more variable. It looks like yeah. a weak La Nina, as opposed to El Nino, which kind of, it locks in a lot of the, the atmospheric factors. So La Nina is gonna be weak. So I think that if anything, it'll allow for other atmospheric factors to yeah. come into play. So my guess, and again, it's October, we're, 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 we are really guessing here, but based on all the factors, my guess would be that, you know, a little bit more cold and snow than we've seen in the last couple of years, but still nothing near, you know, the old days. So they so right. you know. And we're gonna be working on our winter right. forecast that usually comes out in the middle of November. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned for that. We'll definitely hop on this desk and, and bring that to yeah. you when that is ready to go. Um, do we have the seven day forecast up? I don't think we no? okay. do. Uh, so there's the precipitation. Yeah, yeah, right. And so above average in the Great Lakes, but notice equal chances of an average or uh, above average or below average winter. Precipitation us. wise, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But one, the one thing that Noah did say, um, we, we, I spoke with him last week here on the stream, is that Northern New England in this type of year with La Nina has a better chance of uh, performing well with snowfall than Southern New England. Okay. So if that's the case, I don't think that many folks would be complaining about you know less snow here, but you go up to the mountains and it's possible. Ski resorts. Oh, that would be ideal. Yeah, music um, to their ears. We'll, yeah, we'll see what happens, obviously. All right, very nice. Well, we always appreciate you tuning in to this unnamed Jacob and Terry weather talk. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to hop on this and do this uh, every Monday. If you have questions that you want answered, uh, send those on in to us and we'll try to answer those for you as those pop up, but for now, Enjoy the week. Should be a pretty nice one. Should be excellent. Yeah, another great stretch. I'm Definitely. looking forward to it. All right. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe.